serious kid, dude. Yeah. Oh, the light, the light, the light. Oh, yeah. Oh,
Welcome to the seventh grade portion of our concert. We just had our beginners in here and thousands and thousands of very excited parents with them, so they have moved on. And now the seasoned seventh grade parents have entered. Along with our seasoned seventh grade band, you can tell their more mature look. We will be starting our concert, since it's curricular, showing you a few things we've worked on this school year. On our slide, we're talking about some of the skills we're working on seventh grade are much more sophisticated and mature and musical than what we did as sixth graders. We're working much more on ensemble, listening, phrasing, communicating with music more effectively. And you'll hear that in the musical selections we play as well. But it all starts with good technique. So we have been doing a lot of technique exercises. We're gonna just play a few of them to show you the kind of things we've been testing on and working on. First thing we're gonna play is our B-flat concert scale in halves and quarters, a basic building block. So uh, page 18, line one, everybody. And we're working on tone quality, balance, blend, articulation, all matching as a group. <laughs> Hopefully 
hear a difference in the sound from as sixth graders to what they're sounding like this year. We also have a full contingency of uh, new low instruments to help our sound. We have brand new tenor sax players. Tenors, can you stand up? We have brand new Barry sax players. I know they want to stand up and show off what they're all about. Stand up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We've got two tubas happening. We've got our bass clarinet men. Stand up, bass clarinet men. Mm -hmm. Their motto in life is loud is good because their job is to balance everybody else, and you will hear them do it. There's great power and great responsibility on those instruments, so sit. Now, once we just get our basic skills going, we start speeding them up, we start increasing the technique. So let's do line two, please, in eighth notes now. We've also been doing quite a bit of work with chorales. Play the first two measures and try to get them memorized. Don't to remember, just the first two bars. I'm going to have them play it several different ways just by what I show them conducting.
slow piece we're going to play is called Anthem, written several years ago by John Edmondson as a tribute to a very, very close friend of his, uh, Frank Erickson, who is a very well-known band composer who passed away very unexpectedly. And he wrote this as a tribute to him. It's very beautiful. And we talked about different things that could be, I didn't tell them what it was about at first. I said, okay, this is the soundtrack. What's the movie? And they had some very interesting ideas, but a very similar theme of nostalgia, reflection, there's some hope in it, and those things are portrayed in the music. We also work quite a bit on identifying who has melodic material. So the kids are supposed to be in tune to that, listening and aware as they play, and hopefully you will also hear the melody passed throughout the band. But this anthem by John Edmondson.
happiest they have ever been. <laughs> I want to enjoy it for just a moment. I want to invite everybody. Monday night is our first Culver's night of the year. I mean, well, I get out. Of, I teach late on Mondays, so I'll try to go over there. So if any of you night owls are going for a scoop of chocolate chip at 9:30, I'll be there. But Monday night's our first Culver's night, so we love it when you go and tell them you're from Trauber Band. They give us a nice donation. Uh, cookie dough tomorrow. So at 3.15 to 6.30, yay, more school time. Uh, if anyone can help us out, we need a handful of people just to help keep the chaos organized. That'd be lovely. Oh, let's see what else. Jazz band tomorrow, Win Ensemble Friday. New music for these guys Friday for the next concert. This next piece, Joyful Journey, one of my favorites. Beautiful, it's so happy and cute. It starts out very pretty and gentle, and then it gets a little crazy. So here we go, seventh grade concert band on the one year anniversary of their first concert ever, playing Joyful Journey by Robert Sheldon. Thank you. 
dismiss the kids, uh, have them exit that way, go back to where their warm up or homeroom area was, and we're going to, once they go, we're going to ask if you could exit to the right and meet them out that hallway area so we can move our next group in. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate having such a nice audience tonight. Thank you.
Okay.
Welcome to the eighth grade portion of our concert tonight, short and sweet. We are going to show you a couple of curricular things we've been working on to build our technique very quickly, and then we'll show you a couple of the pieces um, that in the past have been things we've done at the end of the year, but this group is ready to play them on our first cycle. So great things in store for the group this year. Uh, we're going to start with just a couple technique builders that we've used as some playing tests and just to get our, our chops back in shape. We're going to do B flat concert in eighth notes, so page 18, line two, guys. And hopefully you can hear some development in the tone, maturity, articulation, the matching compared to, they played very, very well as seventh graders, but you're going to hear a much more mature sound at this point. Thank you. 
have a couple of events coming up this week. Tomorrow, like we didn't have enough going on. Tomorrow is cookie dough pickup, 3.15 to 6.30. If anyone can lend a hand, like them. If uh, you, you know they needed something to do, we would love
Thank you so much. Uh, we'll dismiss the kids back down to the gym, and you can kind of meet them in that area. And I don't think they even need our help picking up. So this is the greatest concert of all time. 20 minutes and no cleanup. Yeah. All right. So we'll let the kids go, and then you can meet them down there. Thank you so much.
Do you have any answers?